Robots. We have seen how computers can do useful work by controlling special machines. Given arms and hands, a computer can do more varied physical work. With a robot body, a computer brain may be programmed to pick up tools and parts and move them around. The ability to work under the control of a program is what distinguishes robots from less intelligent machines. Cranes and mechanical diggers can pick up things and move them around, but they are not robots. These machines need men to drive and control them. They cannot be controlled by a program like a true robot. Computers are very reliable. They can work for a long time without breaking down. This is because they have no moving parts. Robots need lots of moving parts. They have motors and gearboxes which move and can wear out, and they need people to maintain them like any other machine. Eventually, robots will probably be able to service and mend each other. However, robots are generally predictable, precise, and untiring in their work. Used correctly, they can improve the quality of products. As they do not have off days, they can also bring savings in materials and energy. Human workers now have the number of hours they work each day limited by law. The law also protects them from working in dangerous conditions. In special factories, robots can work happily for 24 hours a day. They work on through the night while their human supervisors are at home in bed. If there were any problems, the robots could ring up the supervisor and ask for help. Robots are growing in complexity and their use in industry is becoming more widespread. Robots are mainly used in working with automatic machines and equipments in mass production industries where the same tasks must be repeated. Car production is the primary example of the employment of large and complex robots. They are used in the process for the painting, welding, and assembly of the cars. Robots are also useful in environments which are unpleasant or dangerous for humans to work in, for example, bomb disposal, work in space or underwater, in mining, and for the cleaning of toxic waste. Robots are also used for patrolling these toxic areas. Nowadays, domestic robots that perform simple tasks such as vacuum cleaning and grass cutting are now available. Other domestic robots are being produced with the aim of providing companionship or play partners to people.